<laughs> Hello, I'm Buzz Aldrin, and you're watching Boing Boing TV. <laughs> Anytime you go in and you push frontiers and you push boundaries, whether it was the first manned airplane flight, whether it was explorers hundreds of years ago going across the oceans on ships, that anytime you do that, mankind seems to take a, a great leap forward. If you talk to the people who've been into space or landed on the moon, um, they've come back changed people. Welcome to Boing Boing TV. I'm Shenny Jardin, and we're here about to board a plane called My Other Ride is a Spaceship. It's a Virgin plane, and we're heading out to Mojave Spaceport out in the California desert to witness space history. So we've arrived out here at Mojave Spaceport, and now it's time for the unveiling. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about why I consider space to be the final frontier that is so essential to the future of civilization on this planet. It was Stephen Hawking who first got me thinking about this issue when he explained clearly and concisely to the BBC that mankind actually had no option but to get to space as quickly as possible. The utilization of space is essential not only for communications but also for the logistics of survival through things such as weather satellites, agricultural monitoring, GPS, and climate science. I also believe that someday we'll be able to use space as a source of energy for the planet using the most sustainable source available, our sun. We've got a range on this aircraft carrying the payload of over 2,500 miles, so we can actually take it anywhere we want in the world in the future. What we see is creating a range of spaceport locations around the world with different views of the planet from each of those locations. And also, these could be the future places from which we could fly flights from point to point around the world without having to use the atmosphere at all. Any kind of payload can be put to it and have no interference with a cabin or, or uh, engines. The beauty about this configuration is we can go out and launch uh, light satellite orbital boosters that are flyback reusable boosters. And we can go out anywhere we want and launch such that that booster could be recovered back here at Mojave. The wing spar in this airplane has no secondary bonds, it has no fasteners, and it's full spin, tip to tip. This is designed to not have any skin buckling through all of the flight operating loads. And to do that, you have to make the spars considerably stiffer than are needed for strength design. This is uh, obviously very revolutionary, having uh, a civilian spaceflight vehicle and you know part of it is just the adventure part of going into space and just you know new frontiers and things like that but part of it is the science all composites are is it's a uh, it's an artificial material that is uh, put together in a laboratory you're making fiber optics out of what is essentially is carbon and resin so not to get too technical mm -hmm. so this entire airplane as beautiful as it is as strong as it looks doesn't have a single piece of steel on it so and the we, whole plane the whole plane the entire plane the whole wow. thing is essentially for lack of a better word plastic the uh, amount of fuel that will be burned to transport someone into space on this is equal to the amount of fuel someone burns flying from london to new york so the amount of fuel is not tremendous again because of the advances in science i think you know maybe 10 years maybe 15 years down the road it becomes somewhat routine you know as routine as space flight can be 
and change culture here on Earth, change the way we feel about life on Earth? Well, I mean, if, if you talk to Buzz Aldrin who's here or other people who've been into space or landed on the moon, um, they've come back, you know, changed people and, and uh, they've come back you know, determined to look after this beautiful planet we live on better than they had before and we could be ambassadors and pioneers for that and I'm sure you know, um, I'm sure this space program will be no different except there will be many more people coming back to Earth who've, who've been to space. And what does this mean to you personally? I mean, beyond it being an awesome idea for a business, why does this matter to you? Um, I, I'm old enough to have seen the moon landing. I wanted to go into space when I saw the moon landing. Um, I've never had that opportunity, and um, so I've had to build my own spacecraft. <laughs> um, and um, but you know, but it, it, it's something which um, uh, you know, I, I will now experience space travel, and I'll enable other people to, and um, and it'll be you know, one, of, one of the one of the most exciting things I've done in my life.